He develops a system called operant conditioning to prove that a behavior will be repeated by a subject when rewarded. Repetition leads to reinforcement. Reinforcement to changes in behavior. This hungry pigeon is moving about more or less at random. Sometimes it turns its head to the left. When it does, we reinforce that movement by giving the pigeon access to a dish of grain. Skinner then waits for it to turn further. Again, more food. Ultimately, the pigeon will turn in a complete circle, having learned that only when he turns will he be rewarded. Two uh, pigeons are at either end of a small ping-pong table. One pigeon uh, pecks the ball as it comes toward him and knocks it toward the other pigeon. The other pigeon pecks the ball back across the table. If it goes past one pigeon, the other pigeon can eat. And if it goes the other way, the other pigeon eats. So that there is a real, it's a real game. The uh, pigeon uh, is reinforced for a cross-court shot if that is what gets the ball past his opponent. Can pigeons read? This one gives every indication because he's been taught to distinguish between two words and to behave appropriately. He's learned his different response to each sign by being rewarded with food. So the bird isn't acting independently. Its behavior is shaped by controlling its environment. The pigeon was studied in a uniform box, one it quickly grew used to. One piece of behaviour, pecking a coloured disc, was measured on a graph. The pigeon learned that pecking the disc produced a reward. Then the behaviour of pecking could be studied in relation to how often that reward was offered, or in Skinner's terms, what was the schedule of reinforcement? The main thing is what, what we call schedules of reinforcement. Reinforcement is what the layman calls reward, and you can schedule it uh, so that a reward occurs every now and then when a pigeon does something. We usually use a response with a pigeon pecking a little disc, a little spot in the wall, and you can reinforce with food, but you don't reinforce every time. You're every, perhaps every tenth time, or perhaps only once every minute or something like that. There are very large numbers. 